There's a lot of different ways to get a fire started. Today, let's look at a few of them. The great thing is that the best stuff is free, and it's right here in nature. You just have to know what to look for. So right here, I've got two major natural resources. One behind me, you can see the um, pitch coming off that tree. And here's an old decaying stump and all this stuff. That's all pine saw. That means that's all fat wood. So for example, here's a piece. Look at that. Beautiful. Pine saw. I don't know if you can see this, but look at that. That's just solid fat wood. Gorgeous. So, there's two killer resources. Pitch and fat wood for free. So here we have quite a few different ways to get a fire going. Here's that fat wood that we pulled off that stump over here. Beautiful. Look at that coloring. You can pick that up. That golden brown and yellows and the smell. It smells just like pine saw, turpentine. It's a beautiful piece. Here's that pitch that we pulled off that tree real gently. Nice ball of pitch, that's gonna be a good accelerant. This is a candle, this is 100% beeswax. These are Ukos, I think they burn for three hours each. Wet fire, great product, fire starter. These are um, quick tinder tabs, these are great. And here we've just got some um, birch bark, some shavings. Of course, first time every time, the Bic lighter. I'll show you what I do. When your fingers get cold, it's extremely difficult to make this motion. You'd have to wait till it gets cold to practice, but trust me, your dexterity and your, your fingers just lock up. So these Bics, what I do is I Get in here, back forward, much better chance now, much more dexterity. The tried and true Vaseline and cotton balls. Nice big blob on there, work her in. I break it up and pull it apart. But basically bulletproof. Been used forever. And the biggest thing is these things cost money, right? Money. This was free, but these you can buy a whole bag at the 99 cent store of cotton balls. And this whole thing, this was 99 cents at the 99 cent store. You can make dozens and dozens and dozens of them. Ferrocerium rod. I always get at least a half inch and six inches long. On the back here I've just got Gorilla Tape to give me a little purchase. Some leather. Mora Basic. Here I've grinded a um, 90 degree spine. Super easy. If you um, order these, these are $8.99. I think now they're $12.99 but the easiest way is just to stick it in something, right? Get it level, and then come with your file and just choo -choo 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 -choo, turn it, choo -choo -choo -choo, get that flat 90 degree spine on there. And that'll give you a um, beautiful purchase on the ferro rod. So, how do you use the ferro rod? There's many techniques. 
actually when I first give the ferro rod to somebody to teach them, I just say, okay, naturally, we're gonna put this edge on this thing. So see what you can do to get sparks and they'll just go. But they got a spark, right? So that's great. That introduces you to the ferro rod. But then when you take that to your tinder and you're gonna try and start a fire, you've gotta get away from that. You know, you're just randomly spraying from five feet away. So you have to learn the techniques. The number one technique, right, is the trap. So you're gonna get on top of whatever it is that you're gonna pull, whatever it is that you're going to light. So let's say that it's, um, well, let's do the cotton ball. So you're gonna come around with your knife in your hand, right, here's the spine, here's your ferro rod. Put your foot where you wanna start this little fire. And just trap, put your hand tight up here against your um, foot and your ankle, right? Tight. Take the ferro rod, you're gonna pull. All right, so we're gonna get it right where we want those sparks and you're gonna pull, you're keeping the knife secure and pulling on the fire wrap, right? I'll move in so you can get a close up. Build a little platform. Cotton ball, put your foot next to it. Take your hand, knife, plant it right here. So I'm putting pressure, so I'm tight. Take the ferro rod, you're gonna rip it, pull straight up. Knife's not gonna move, all right? We're gonna shower sparks down on this Vaseline cotton ball. Next up, we've got wet fire. These are great, they burn for a long time. I just light it right in its package, but you could open it, cut it up, and cut it into three, and you'd have, you know, three, three separate fires you can get going. Now, I've tried these many times with the ferro rod. No success, not on its own. With it opened up and it taking sparks and nothing. But if you built a little bird's nest and you get that going, you could use a ferro rod, but I've had no success with it reliably, you know. You don't want to be spending five minutes with a ferro rod trying to get something going. So this and the Bic lighter, this thing will burn for three. I think this, I've seen these go three to like five minutes. Next up, we've got these little Tinder tabs. It's basically just um, feels like cotton that's been infused with some sort of chemicals, probably just like a petroleum jelly. But you can basically break it apart, rip it open, fluff it up, give it some surface area so it can catch a ferrocerium rod. So we're gonna get our foot in place, we're gonna secure our knife and our hand right here on our ankle. So I'm basically pulling against myself. Right, getting this secure. Same thing, we're gonna rip the ferrocerium rod. Get in place, plant my knife, and rip with the ferrocerium rod. Bingo. Got our fatwood shavings, and here's that ball of pitch that we got off the tree. I'm going to combine those two. Remember, this is all natural, found in nature. The pitch and this fat wood, it's all here for you. And it's some of the best stuff, if not the best in the world. It's incredible. So this has been used for millions of years to start fires. Here's our little platform. Here's our little ball. Our pitch, which is a natural accelerant and the fat wood. Give us a little time to get a fire going. Flame extender, I'd call it. 
This guy's left over from our experiment before. Still going. It's been at least 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put my foot down, plant it. Secure my hand. Remember, we're gonna rip straight up. All right? Get it where I want it. Rip it. So you can see there, that caught the accelerant. That's the um, tree pitch. We've got that fat wood in there. So that'll buy us a little time. That fat wood will burn. Fire extender, flame extender. But you saw that. Extremely, extremely volatile. Flammable. Incredible. All from nature. Look at that baby go. That giant ball of pitch and got the fat wood in there. I bet you money that would burn for five minutes plus. Amazing. So we're gonna get her out. So what do we got? Last up we got um, basically just some birch bark. And birch bark is, you know, easy. Just kind of crumple it up, work it. Lastly, we've got that Uko candle that I talked about. These are great. They come in three packs. Really inexpensive, but this one candle, 100% beeswax. I believe three hours these burn. So, even if you carry little 100% beeswax birthday candles, any kind of a candle, because what you don't want to be doing is trying to get a fire going and wet conditions or difficult conditions and burning up this, right? One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, you're just burning it. Versus here, you saw that. Ready? So it's out. See how much gas this takes. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. Boom. Two, three seconds to get this going. And this will keep going. So now you can put your marginal tinder or Whatever you've got going on top of this flame, right? You can also use this wax that it's kicking off. Because wax likes to burn, so you can pour that all over what you're trying to get started. So a candle is an incredible tool. Not to mention the beeswax, 100% beeswax. I can scrape this off. I can use it for lubricating knives, weapons, things that move. So everything's got... You want it to have multi, multi-purpose uses. And you can see with it, right? Like the old days. Candling device. So that's all. It's just fun to get out and um, keep your skills up. Just play with stuff. If you find a new product, don't just buy it and let it sit there. Take it out. Try it. If you've got a backyard, you know, get out there and try it in a controlled environment, if that's what you have to do. Always safe, fire safety, right? All of this stuff here is gonna be doused with water and make sure everything's cleaned up just like you found it. All right, check you all later. Ciao.